usa ka tingog usa ka katawhan Cebu Catholic Television Network Network Gikan sa INTV, CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Igong supply sa tubig, ipaliguro sa PDRRMO, subay na sa epekto sa El Nino Pinominol. Mupahamtang og surcharge ang Treasurer's Office kung dili makabayad sa deadline ang mga tao sa ilang buhis. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa New Sang Puerza sa CCTN News Team. Kami matod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Pagbaton og igong supply sa tubig, usa sa mga ipaniguro sa Cebu PDRRMO, subay na sa gibantayang epekto sa El Nino Pinuminon. Ang kasayuran, ihatod ni Gian Navarro. Daan nang gideklarao sa pagasa ang pagsugod sa El Nino Phenomenon Lokop Nasud. Samtang ni Paimangno ang United Nations pinagi sa World Meteorological Organization nga nauman ang epekto sa Huaw. Tugod din ni Subsubangi mong mga lakang sa Cebu Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office nunot sa gibantay ang epekto. Batod sa tigpama ba nilang si Engineer Wilson Ramos nga usa sa ilang giyatagan ng pagtagad mao ang mga tinubdan sa tubig ilabi na sa kalungsuran. Apil na nasab din ni mao ang paggamit sa mga catch water basin ug uban pa aron adun ay igong supply sa tubig nga to sa kabasakan ug uban pa. Samta na kigalayo nasab sila sa ubang mga departamento sa Cebu Provincial Government aron dili mabutang sa alaot ang mga tamnanan nunot sa gilaw mang init nga panahon. Namay mga mitigation measures ni Gibuat si Gob, especially ngay namay uban na uh, mga structures na gipang iyan gi, pa demolish gyud na especially na itaboron sa ay area dito sa south na i-control ang ang flow sa river pag tan-aw niya na numaray ang ang flow sa river gi-control na ibutang ang ilang barrier di pagubag dito ni Gob. Adto no sa giandam nga pundo ang Kapitolyo alang sa mga mitigation efforts nunot sa panahon sa El Nino phenomenon. Hinoon, tinabangay man sila, ubo sa gimug na nilang council. Ang amor is more on we will provide fund kay uh, keeper man Mr. Dem fund. Uh, although na fund ang atong mga, ang provincial agriculture dika sa unsay mitigation measures para sa El Nino. Uh, kung insufficient na nila, nila muhatag man sa admin, mo provide man sa as to sa um, order ni Gov sa director sa para sa... Sa habit usap sa nasud ng kagamhanan na mahayag si Presidente Bongbong Marcos nga andam ang mga nga ahensya sa kagamhanan alang sa epekto sa Huawei. Matud niya nga magtinabangay ang DENR, DA, DPWH o National Irrigation Administration. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Mga atleta nga gikan sa Estados Unidos mibisita sa tulo ka mga lugar dinhi sa Pilipinas apil na ang sugbo aron pagdasig sa mga aktibong makabatan-onan sa sports. Ang kasayuran ihatod sa tong si inyo com intern nga si Cheryl Taladron. Yangup sa mga sugbuanon ang 31 ka mga student elite athletes gikan sa University of Tennessee sa United States. Kinihuman nga mibisita sila sa lain-laing bahin sa sugbo aron sa pagpakigila-ila sa mga nagkadayang sport sa mga dakbayan ug sa pagdasig sa mga estudyanteng atleta ilabi na ang mga kabatan-unan sa paghimo og positibo nga kausaban alang sa komunidad pinaagi sa sports. Kini subay sa programa nga Vol Leaders Academy, usak academic based program nga gihimo sa University of Tennessee nga nagtumong sa pag-educate, pag-empower o pag-engage sa mga aktibong kabatanunan, ilabi na ang mga atleta alang sa paggamit sa sports aron makahimo og maayong kausaban sa komunidad. Uh, it's been incredible. We've uh, been on really a 10 or 11 day uh, kind of immersive experience. We've been in three locations here in the Philippines. We started in Manila, um, spent you know three or four days there, then shifted over to Caron, three or four days there, did some island hopping, worked with some local uh, government organizations, some grassroots, nonprofits, and then we spent the last three or four days here in Cebu. Lakip sa ilang gibisita din sa Sugbo mo ang Cebu City Sports Institute sa barangay Pasil, Dulho, Fatima. Din ilang gihimo ang basketball o volleyball clinic 
ug uban pang mga kalihukan nga giapilan sa Kapin 200 ka mga bata sa maong barangay. Ang maong kalihukan nagmalampuson uban sa suporta ni Donaldo Dondon Hontiveros, ang chairman sa Sports Cebu City Government. Giadto sab nila ang tunghaan sa Southwestern University ug misurod ang dakbayan sa Mandawe din ilang personal nga gisadya ang opisina sa mayor ug sa vice mayor sa maong dakbayan. Ulahin nilang gibisita ang Cebu Doctors University diin gidula ang sitting volleyball o wheelchair basketball exhibition friendly game ng ilang kuban sa mga atleta sa mga universidad, patok Cebu's Philippine Accessible Disability Services Incorporated kun pads. Matod ni Griffin Hadley, miyembro sa men's swimming team sa University of Tennessee, nga dako ang iyang kalipay nga iyang naimamat og natudluan og sports values ang pipila ka mga kabataan mga kabatan unan ilabi na ang mga estudyanteng atleta dinhi sa Sugbo Yeah, I think our experience has been very unique because we've been able to be at three different cities, Manila, Coron, and now here in Cebu. And it's been so interesting to meet kids of all different ages, university students and everything in between. And we've been able to teach a lot about we know, about elite sport. But I tell you, they've taught us a whole lot about native Filipino games. I mean, our niece and everything in between. So it's been a really incredible experience to exchange information with the Filipino athletes as well as us. Ang maong mga atleta ni bisita sa Sugbo sugod ni atong Hulyo Utso sa kasamtangang tuig ug nahuman kini kagahapong adlawa. Ang pagbisita sa maong mga atleta dinhi sa Pilipinas ni lungtad sa napu kaadlaw din una nilang gibisita ang Manila human ngadto sa Coron Palawan ug sa Katapusan dinhi sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Cheryl Talandron, CNU Com Intern, CC TN News. Mopahamtang og surcharge ang Treasurer's Office sa Patigayon sa Dakbayan kung dili kini makabayad atol sa deadline sa tingbayad sa buhis. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Mary Francine Joyce Almagro ang ato ang CNU Mascom intern. Cebu City Treasurer's Office kung CTO mopahamtang og surcharge og interest sa mga Patigayon nga dili makabayad atol sa deadline sa pagpangbayad og buhis karong umaabot nga Hulyo 20, 2023. Mi pagawas og notisya ang CTO sa pag-auhag sa mga nanag-iya og negosyo nga dili na muhuwat sa deadline sa pagbayad sa ilang business taxes karong tuiga. Nakalatid sab sa notisya nga mupahamtang sila og 25% nga surcharge og interes nga 2% matagbuan kung dili mabayaran ang kinatibuk ang juice sa ilahang buhis. Gidugang sab nga ang maong deadline karong umaabot nga Hulyo 20, 2023, alang kini sa quarterly payments sa business taxes of fees sa third quarter sa tuig 2023. Mamahimo nga makabayad og buhis sa mga satellite office sa CTO nga naanahimutang sa ground floor sa Robinson's Galleria sugod karong Hulyo 15 sa Adlaong Sabado. Francine Almagro, Senyucom Intern, CCTN News. Kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo mo palaom sa ilang pakisusi sa pagkatagak sa giingong minilyon ka pesos diha sa SRP sa miaging simana. Subayon so, sa investigasyon, kontinuod ba nga moabot sa ang maong kantidad o ga 4 milyones ka pesos nga nakolekta sud sa SMC side. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. Muhimo karon og laom nga imbestigasyon ang kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo kun unsa ka tinuod nga niabot sa 4 ka milyon ka pesos ang gidala nga kwarta ni John Mark Marietos gikan nga nawalikta sulod sa SMC side matod ni pulis sa Colonel Irene Dalugdog ang hepe sa kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo nga makaduda ang pangangkon ini nga dulan sa duha ka milyon pa ang wala babalik ngadto sa ilaga kompanya sang letuguban nga nakapunit wala na muuli ni ini kung basihan ang pamahayag ni Marientos sigun ni Dalugdog nga iyan pa nga subayon ilbina nga dakong kantidad sa salapi ang dala ni ini apan nagiyano lang kini gasulod sa backpack sa manggud na kuan makaduda gid kayo kay kung isulod magud mo na ang kwarta sa backpack backpack dapat kuan siya eh naka kung binandal man siya na tag 20 pesos tag 50 pesos 100 or 1000 dapat na elastiko di ba so kung accidentally nga na open ang katong iyang zipper ni bigay pag nangahakbong ta to dapat binandol pud ang kuan so dili po na siguro ma maputol ang lastiko di ba para mahimo masabwag dito mayo ang kwarta Mando karon si Delugdog sa investigador sa Mambaling Police Station nga mohimo ga background investigation kang Barientos sa litno ni mga impormasyon ang kapulisan nga nadawat nga makapaduda usab kanila usa silang sumayon kung do na may kiosk Gcash machine sa sulod sa SMC side ug mamahimo ba nga makakolekta kining minilyon ka pesos Ano na tututukan akong gina ng investigator gidirect na nato tong investigator na uh, i-background check ang katong maong collector or technician sa maong uh, Gcash na kuan 
kanyang uh, chaos collector para uh, mahibala na ito kung sa gito asa ito gikan ang mga kwarta. Kung ang muhatag silang kwintana gikan sa machine ang kumpanya nga makapamatuod ngayon na ito kadaku ang kandidaan sa kwarta ang nabidro ni Marientos tungkol ni ilang awhago ng management kaya muhatag sa accounting aron nilang masuta kung pilo pa ang kapangitaon sa kapulisan ng kwarta. Arnold Bustamante, CCD News. Mandawihanon nga nakadaog sa 11th ASEAN Para Games gipasidunggan sa Mandawi atol sa sesyon sa Konsiho kagahapon. Si Arlie Di Parini ang ato ang CNU Com intern sa report. Formal nga gipasidunggan sa kagamhanan sa Mandawi City atol sa 53 na sesyon sa Konsiho kagahapon ang usa ka Cebuano athlete nga si Arman Piladino kinsa milangkat ug mga medalya sa gipahigayon nga 11th ASEAN Para Games 2022 dito sa Surakarta, Indonesia. Si Arman Dino usa ka able person nga gikan sa Mandawi City nakahatag og dungog sa dakbayan diin nakaani siya og usa ka silver nga medalya sa 400 meter T47 race samtang nakuha pud niya ang bronze sa 100 meter T47 sa sprinter nga kategorya. Inubana ni Mandawi City Vice Mayor Glenn Obersedi ug Mandawi City Councilors gipahigayon ang ceremonial and giving of recognition sa Mandawi City Hall of Fame. Mitambong usab ang pipila ka mga PWDs ug ang si Vera a gold medalist kinsa usa sa mga batan-on nga gibansay ni Dino. Nasayran nga si Dino na wad-an sa yang tuo nga kamot sa usa ka aksidente sa pabuto sa dihang shati anyos pa siya. Imbis nga mawad-an og paglaom, nagpadayon gihapon si Dino sa usa ka karera sa track and field na naghatag kaniya og pwesto sa national team ni adtong tuig 2014. Kahinumduman usab nga si Dino bag-o lang nakakuha og silver medal sa 12 ASEAN Para Games sa Cambodia karon lang tuiga. Kini si Arli M. Diparine, Senyocom intern, CCTN News. Haribon Foundation mutabang sa kagamanan sa dakbayan sa Sugbo alang sa pagpanalipod sa kalikupan sa kabukirang dapit din sa syudad. Ilabi na tungod ni ini, gitinguha nila nga musod o sa kakasabutan uban sa kagamanan sa dakbayan sa Sugbo. Ang kasayuran, ihatod ni Daniel Ann Abatayo, ang ato ang CNU Com Interns sa report. Mas mapaligon pa niya ang pagpalipod sa kalikupan sa mga bukirang dapit sa dakbayan sa Sugbo, ilabi na ang proteksyon sa kalanggaman. Kinihuman nga mipaabot og suporta ang Haribon Foundation for the Conservation of Natural Resources Incorporated, diin nagpakitabang kini sa buhatan sa Chairman sa Committee on Natural Resources sa Konseho, mao si Cebu City Councilor Joel Garganera. Pasabot ni Garganera, nga buot nga musulod og kasabutan ng Haribon Foundation tali sa dakbayan sa Sugbo nga moabag sa pagpanalipod sa kalikupan sa syudad. Aron nga uh, mutunhay ni kay uh, atong tan atong tanaw na to atong kabukiran tuod no daghantag mga organisasyon ang atong senro na uh, pero uh, minus kay ta og maghisgot ta og technical no uh, minus ta daw maghisgot ta og warm bodies Dugang niya nga sa maong kasabutan sa Haribon Foundation ng Cebu City Government, makahatag kini og dugang proteksyon sa mga kayupan sa bukid o pag-atiman ni ini. Mahatagan usab kini og lapad nga pagtagad ang pag-atiman sa mga hayupan tungod kay gawa sa Cebu City Environment and Natural Resources Office kung Senro at doon sa non-government agency nga kaabag sa syudad. So nagkaingan lang ta, mas daghan nga mga NGO, mas daghan nga mga people's organization ang musakop nato sa pagproteher nato sa atong kalikupan labi na sa atong mga kakahuyan diha sa kabukiran dili lang kakahuyan sa kabukiran kundi dili did, diri sa mismo sa atong patan gawa sa kayupan usa nga tutukan sa maong hensya og sa syudad sa Sugbo ang pagproteher sa mga kahoy nga maoy pinoy anan sa mga langgam Pagtanom og dugang ang mga punuan sa bukid, mausab ang gisugyot ni Galcanera sa publiko o ang pagtinabangay sa pagprotektar sa kalikupan. Daniel Anabatayo, CNU Com Intern, CCTN News. Mokad to ato mga balita sa alas 12, sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs, ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ang atong seri 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat. God who brings new life to birth in
Nicholas Padilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Feka Bahug and family. Together with our personal intentions, we offer this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration, and for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave one origin to all peoples 
and willed to gather from them one family for yourself. Fill all hearts, we pray, with the fire of your love and kindle in them a desire for the just advancement of their neighbor, that through the good things which you richly bestow upon all, each human person may be brought to perfection, every division may be removed, and equity and justice may be established in human society. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When hunger came to be felt throughout the land of Egypt, and the people cried to Pharaoh for bread, Pharaoh directed all the Egyptians to go to Joseph and do whatever he told them. When the famine had spread throughout the land, Joseph opened all the cities that had grain and rationed it to the Egyptians since the famine had gripped the land of Egypt. In fact, all the world came to Joseph to obtain rations of grain for famine had gripped the whole world. The sons of Israel were among those who came to procure rations. It was Joseph as governor of the country, who dispensed the rations to all the people. When Joseph's brothers came and knelt down before him with their faces to the ground, he recognized them as soon as he saw them. But Joseph concealed his own identity from them and spoke sternly to them. With that, he locked them up in the guardhouse for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to his brothers, Do this, and you shall live, for I am a God-fearing man. If you have been honest, only one of your brothers need to be confined in this prison, while the rest of you may go and take home provisions for your starving families. But you must come back to me with your youngest brother. Your words will thus be verified and you will not die. To this, they agreed. To one another, however, they said, Alas, we are being punished because of our brother. We saw the anguish of his heart when he pleaded with us, yet we paid no heed. That is why this anguish has now come upon us. Reuben broke in. Did I not tell you not to do wrong to the boy? But you would not listen. Now comes the reckoning for his blood. The brothers did not know, of course, that Joseph understood what they said, since he spoke with them through an interpreter. But turning away from them, he wept. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the thin string line chant his praises sing to him a new song pluck the string skillfully with shouts of gladness From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them Thus, do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The good news of our salvation. Praise Praise you, Lord. Jesus. As a starting point of my sharing with you, let me borrow this beautiful reflection from a brother priest of mine, a professor right now in Seminario Mayor de San Carlos, 
teaching New Testament courses, no? And he emphasizes this point upon reflecting today's first reading and the gospel reading. The priest said that there is no perfect family, no perfect community. Because as we look at the story of Joseph the dreamer and his brothers, his family is never perfect. Usa ka ang mga igsuon makaako or nakaako og baligya sa ilang igsuon. And looking at the first this the first 12, no? The 12 disciples, the community formed by Jesus, that community is not composed of perfect people. They are to, to some experts of the Bible, sila ang mga ngilad o batasan. Dili maayo nga kinabuhi ang mga ang dusi ka apostolis. Dili inana ka perfect. So, I agree with that particular point of my brother priest saying that there's no such perfect family no perfect community. But let me add, this will not make us dis be discouraged. Let us not be discouraged with this awareness, this kind of truth. For sure, makarelate ta ani kay looking at our own respective families or communities right now, there's no such a perfect one. But look at you. Where are you right now? You still care for your family. We still care for our respective communities. Even if dili in anak ka perfect. Because I believe this will not this will not lead us to some discouragement. Rather, we continue to have faith not losing faith in this kind of family not losing faith in this kind of community and i want to borrow that definition of faith by dr thomas moore a psychologist this was shared to us young clergy last yesterday we had our overnight recollection kami nga mga first 5 years sa pagkapari Nang inahanglan mi, nagigikumusta mi sa amo nga mental health. And mauni na kapastrak ka inako. The definition of faith. Faith, according to Dr. Thomas Moore, is our firm trust in God even in our continuing darkness. And for me, darkness there may come like our imperfections that we encounter every now and then the difficulties in the ministry but continue to have faith because with this faith we can say that there is something good that will come out of this that at the end of the tunnel there is light and life and after death there is life life after death and there are still consolations that we will still experience even in the midst of life's imperfections. There are still blessings that God will give to us. Just have faith. And we can see that there is something good will come out in the midst of life's difficulties, imperfections, or darkness. Kay wa baya mo end ang story sa Joseph. This a story ni Joseph the dreamer o siya mga igsuon. Wa baya mo end adto lang nga bati nga hitabo. Wa sad mo end ang istorya sa dosi ka apostles tungod lang atong ilang inato nga klase sa kinaiya. Wala. The apostles 
We are so grateful to them because of them nakapadayon ang good news nagisang ni Kristo. And look at the family of Joseph. Wala sila mga matay tungod sa famine. Naluwas hinoon sila. Have faith in God because I'm sure God is assuring us of His presence in the midst of life's imperfections. Dita niya pasagdan, oy. Prayers of the Faithful The Lord Jesus chose twelve from among His disciples that they might be with Him and that He might send them. Let us now pray that we may listen to the teachings of their successors as we say, Lord, give your church shepherds to tend your flock. Lord, give your church shepherds to tend your flock. That the Pope and the bishops may be united in love and in common mission to continue the work of the apostles in preaching the gospel to the whole of creation, we pray. Lord, Lord give your church shepherds to tend your flock. That missionaries may go forth and serve with the same courage that the Holy Spirit stirred up in the apostles. May they speak out with enthusiasm, boldness, and apostolic fervor, we pray. Lord, Lord give, give your, your church shepherds to tend your flock. That people may welcome the word of God preached and witnessed to be by the ministers of the word, we pray. Lord, give your church shepherds to tend your flock. That we may honor the memory of priests who offered their lives for the Lord, attending to the needs of the sick in hospitals during the COVID-19 pandemic, we pray. Lord, give your church shepherds to tend your flock. That preferential option for the poor may be given privacy in the preaching of the gospel, for God's heart has a special place for them, we pray. Lord, give your church shepherds to tend your flock. We pray for our beloved dead that they may enjoy the eternal life assured to us by our God. We pray, Lord, give your church shepherds. Almighty Father, may your word resound in all the earth by preaching and by modern means of communication. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Hear, O Lord, in your mercy, the prayers of those who cry to you, and as you receive your church's offering, grant that all may be filled with the spirit of divine sonship, so that with inequalities overcome by charity, 
one family of peoples may be formed in your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we hear this prayer and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Having been fed with the one bread by which you constantly renew the human family, we pray, O Lord, that from participation in this sacrament of unity, we may draw a love strong and pure to help peoples in their development and prompted by charity to fulfill what justice requires. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Act of Consecration to St. Joseph O glorious Patriarch and Patron of the Church, O Virgin Spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, O Guardian and Virginal Father of the Word Incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my Father, my Guardian, and my Protector. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one. Help me not to offend God in any way. O oh, my spiritual Father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Holy Mary, Saint Joseph, noble offspring of David, Light of patriarchs, Pray for us. spouse of the mother of God, Pray for us. chaste guardian of the virgin, Pray for us. poster father of the son of God, Pray for us. zealous defender of Christ, Pray for us. head of the holy family, Pray for us. Joseph most just, Pray for us. Joseph most chaste, Pray for us. Joseph most prudent, Pray for us. Joseph most courageous, Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful, Pray for us. mirror of patience, Pray for us. lover of poverty, Pray for us. model of workmen, Pray for us. glory of domestic life, Pray for us. guardian of virgins, Pray for us. pillar of families, Pray for us. comfort of the afflicted, Pray for us. hope of the sick, Pray for us. patron of the dying, Pray for us. terror of demons, Pray for us. protector of the holy church. Pray for us. He has made him Lord of his household. And praise praise of all all his possessions. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
podcast is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Thank you.